What's up guys, Garrett with Self-Taught Dev. Today we are gonna do another LinkedIn assessment, the Git one today. I, uh, just a few quick things. One, I'm probably gonna fail this. I know the basics of GitHub, like I can make a new repository, push, pull, basic stuff like that. But I feel like this is gonna have some trick questions, so I'm probably gonna fail this. Um, two, you're probably gonna have different questions than what I have. From what I've seen, most of their tests have a large test bank and they will just throw out 15 random questions for you. You might have some of the same questions, but a lot of them are probably gonna be different when you take this. And three, the questions are gonna be time stamped in the description. So if you just wanna look in the description, you can like skip to each individual question. So let's do this. All right, while working on a feature branch, you try to use git re 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 i don't know what that does <laughs> to solve a recurring merge conflict but nothing is happening what could be causing this issue yeah like i said i'm probably gonna fail this so what does this even do reuse recorded resolution of conflicted merges um the commit hash is missing the file path isn't specified reread on enabled isn't enabled in the config file the all option isn't added to the command. Is there an all option for this? This doesn't show an all option, so I don't think that's it. Uh, we got 37 seconds left. So let's try and see, oh, there is the dot enabled thing. You need to set, you need to set the configuration variable re, re, re enabled in order to enable this command. So I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> you find a bug in your project, but can't locate where it was introduced in the commit history. How would you diagnose the problem? Use git bisect to compare the buggy commit to an earlier commit that works as expected. Run a git rebase to find the buggy commit. Manually backtrack through your commit history. Use git search diff to compare all commits in your repo. Okay, so if you can't locate where the bug was introduced in the commit history, but if you know where the bug is, then you could like compare the file to find I feel like it's either A or D. We have 10 seconds left, so we're just gonna go with uh, this one. What does the following command do to the git repository history? Git reset soft head. Keeps the head at the current commit, but clears all previous commits. Resets the working branch to the first commit. Undoes the last commit in the working branch and sets the head back one commit. Deletes all previous commits and resets the repo history back to its initial state. So it's using the soft so I don't think it delete, I don't think it's D. Let's just Google git reset. All right, when using git reset soft head, one, you'll remove the last commit from your current branch, but the file changes will stay in your working tree. All right, so remove the last commit from the current branch, but you'll ch the changes will stay in the current working tree. Is that what this is saying? It's not that, so it's not, it's not D or B. I think it's C. All right, after you make changes to the tracked file, you run the following command. What will this do? git commit dash a dash m refactor code base what does the dash a flag do by using dash a switch the commit command to manually add changes from all known files oh is that like all oh it is cool okay sweet i didn't know that that's gonna remove one step when i commit stuff from now on um so this is going to commit all new files with a message add all new files to the staging area add all modified files to the staging area, then commit them with a message. Yes. What will the following command print to the terminal? Git remote dash V. What does git remote do? Git remote command is essentially an interface for managing a list of remote entries stored in the repo. Show me the docs. Manage set of tracked repos, all right? And then what is the dash V? That's the verbose. So, be a little more verbose and show the remote URL after name, note, this can be replaced with blah, blah, blah. So this is going to list of remote repositories you're connected to, list last five Git versions you've installed. Nope. An inline editor for modifying, I think it's this one, B, huh? Yeah, we're gonna go with B. That sounds like it'd be the most correct here. So, looking at the following command, describe what is happening. Git checkout, feature, user location. Yeah, it's feature, user location. Git cherry pick. What does cherry pick do? Is that a file? That's like a file, huh? Oh, that's an actual command, okay. Apply the changes introduced by some existing commits. Okay, so he's checking out a file, or he's checking out a commit, and then he's merging the changes from this one to it. The commit is being cherry picked as the new head. A commit is being copied from its original branch over to the 
feature user location branch. A commit is being copied from the feature user location branch to the master branch. A, the commit is being tagged for release on a, uh, well, that, so I don't think it's D. A commit is being copied from the blah, blah, blah branch, the master. I need to read this one more time. Apply the changes introduced by some existing commits. Cash, I need you to move, bud. I'm trying to make a video. Ow, don't claw me, you little cat. Sorry about that. So, the current branch is ahead, um, given one or more existing commits. Um, we're gonna go with C, because that's always the right answer, and I'm not sure what the right one is here, so. What file is the following git ignore programmed to leave out? So it's gonna leave out, I mean, so all files in the build directly uh, directory, as well as files ending in .txt or meta, only files that, what does having the hashtag in the git ignore file do? I've never had to ignore anything other than node modules. A line with serves as a com comment. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was thinking. That I thought that was a comment. So it's gonna ignore everything in the build directory as well as any files ending in .txt and .metadata. All files. Okay, so that's the first one. Cool. Let's just double check to make sure all the files with Swift. So that nope, that's a comment. All right, yeah, it's a cool. All right, what command lets you create a connection between a local and remote repo? Git remote origin git remote add new git remote new origin or git remote add origin well let's just pull up our handy dandy git remote documentation here we don't need the dash v but whatever with no arguments it shows a list of existing remote repos okay so it's got arguments in these so add adds a remote named blank to the repo at that url it's going to be d why would you use a pre-receive hook in your remote repo to backdate a git commit to fire a script after updates are made to the remote repo to involve a hook script when commits are pushed but before any references are updated to debug all commit tags and release versions you wouldn't you would use it in the local repo that sounds like the right answer but we're gonna we're gonna double check this here so pre-receive hook, let's do git pre-receive pre hook and see what this says here. Okay, so it lets you make requirements for accepting the commit. So B sounds like it'd be the right answer to me. We're gonna go with that. Which of the following is true when you use the following command? Git add dash A, that's gonna add <coughs> all the files to the staging area, but we're gonna make sure because maybe the capital A flag does something different. That's not what I want. I want git add, there we go. No, where is the git documentation for git add? Oh my gosh, there we go. Git add dash A, we already looked at this and it's all, right? Update the index not only with the but also where the index, if no path is specified, given A option is used, all files in the entire working tree are uploaded. Okay, cool, so yeah, we're gonna go with all new files are staged. All new and updated files are staged. There we go. How could you squash multiple commits together without using git merge dash dash squash? You can't. Git merge dash squash is the only git command for this operation. Caching, reflogging, or rebasing. Let's see here. How to squash multiple commits. Rebase. We're gonna go with that. What operation can you use to apply git configs across your entire git environment? Apply git configurations to entire git environment. Looks like somebody else is Googling these answers too, and Google knows what I want here. Yeah, I thought it was the dash global. That, that would make the most sense. I just wanted to make sure. So yeah, we're gonna go with global here. All right, three questions left or two. Three, two or three, one of those. Uh, take a look at the git commands below and determine what the operation is doing. Git bisect start, git bisect bad, git bisect good. What does git bisect do? So as I said in the beginning of the video, I don't know anything about git. Git bisect uses binary search to find the commit that introduced a bug. I think we used git bisect in that one question, right? Is that what we went with? Because I think that's the right answer to that, like question number two or three now, I don't know. Uh, git bisect bad and good what do those do so i think this is removing a bug yeah um make we have 
20 seconds. Make marking a commit as good and resetting the head. Running a bisect that performs a binary search between two commits. Marking a commit as bad for later deletion. Merging, um, actually maybe that is what he's doing. We're gonna go with that, C. What command would you use to create a new git repo? Git init. A colleague sends you, yes, finally a question I know. <laughs> a colleague sends you the following terminal output and asks for your help. What process is, is taking place? Git pull, git reset hard, git pull the top branch, git reset head origin. A, well yeah, there's a merge conflict in there, but then he does some stuff after that. So choices are a merge conflict, a pull or merge undo, a rebase or a revision and reset. Well, he's not using a rebase anywhere in there, so I'm not gonna go with that one. A revision and reset. A pull or merge undo. So it's either gonna be B or D. Well, he's using a reset in the command and this answer has reset in it, so we're gonna go with that and see how we did here. Holy shit, we passed. All right, guys, well, I really wanna know, it says uh, to pass, you have to get above the 70th percentile, right? So as more people pass the test, the bell curve is gonna shift farther to the right and the 70th percentile is gonna be harder to get into. So is that how it works? Or is there like a set number of questions you have to pass to pass the assessment? I really wanna know. But yeah, cool, we passed. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, we did awesome work, guys. We have great Googling skills. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions or if you wanna see me do any other assessments. I have done most of the ones that I'm confident I can pass, so any other assessments, I'm probably gonna fail. But you can see the questions and get like an idea of what you're gonna, what kind of questions you're gonna get. So yeah, um, we've got a Discord. If you wanna come join the Discord, it's in the description. I do resume reviews and portfolio reviews. If you want to do either one of those, my email's in the description. I also do monthly projects if you need some projects to practice and build in the Discord. And I think that is it. So I will see you next time. Peace.